Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of this playthrough of the career mode of Mud Sport Manager. I am Fuzzy Faced as always. If you're new to this series we are currently playing through this uh, career mode as the Predator Racing Team which start the game off with the least amount of money. Uh, pretty much everything else is the worst in the entire game. Running down here like where this car rating is, everything else is rated at that at the beginning. Uh, we still have the worst car but we have moved up a series. The aim is to get into the World Motorsport Championship which is the equivalent of the Formula 1 uh, racing series. Um, we have currently moved up from the European into the Asia Pacific which is akin to GP2. So we were hoping to be a bit like Prima this season but obviously we don't have a Gasly or a Giovinazzi in the car. But we are doing quite well ourselves. We are currently in third place here in the championship. Which isn't bad considering the state of the car performance wise. We've managed to get it up to, uh, well we've got Latinan's car up in, uh, it's more reliable than it was at the start. Santa Rana, we're not too bothered about that because she does have the uh, nurse stat boost. So she's doing pretty well here, she's doing really well. She's actually in third place in the Drivers' Championship, 18 points. It's quite a way off first place, but then again we wouldn't be expecting to win this. We're falling behind here, we've got no chance of winning this, I wouldn't think. We've just passed the halfway point of the season. We've done six races so far. Out of those six races, Santa Rana has got points in Singapore, Beijing. She won in Phoenix, where she came from 20th on the grid to win that race. Just outside in Vancouver and points in Yokohama last time out, where he managed to finish five, which was mainly down to a lot of the other cars seeming to have reliability problems in the longer races for some reason. But it's another point, so we... Santa Rana has actually finished in the top five and got points in four out of six races here, so that's not a bad return. Two thirds of the times she's got points, um, and she's doing really well at coming from the back of the grid as well. So it shows our strategy is uh, far superior to what the AI is working out to do for themselves. <laughs> Hopefully, there's not a patch anytime soon because I'm quite enjoying. I don't know whether that's just because we're just because of the way our car is shaped up, the way we developed the chassis over uh, over the off-season. We managed to get a lot for tyre heating and fuel efficiency and not the best. We wanted a little bit more for tyre wear, but we got the tyre wear quite somewhere near where they, we wanted it to. So we are able to run our strategy to um, effectiveness, 100% effectiveness sort of to what we want, that we go a bit longer than all the other cars. And then try and get a jump in and when we get a bit of clear air and run a bit quicker whilst everyone makes that pit stop and when we get clear air, we go ahead and um, try and get in front of them and um, gain places. We don't we don't fall into the trap of doing car to ga car battles. We just stick to our strategy and uh, we often see how that works out for us and it works out for us pretty well most of the time. And it's worked out pretty well for us pretty much in all of the races this season and uh, we've just got a bit of work now so the car's repaired there's not a lot of work to do we've still got some reliability work to do on Santa Rana's car but she has that nurse stat so we're not too bothered about that most of the parts here for Latin and she doesn't have any problem with those so we're not concentrating on it too much obviously we built a new gearbox last time which we are concentrating on getting up to this uh, point here at 360 it's the only part that we've got to improve in Latin and's car I'm not sure well actually I am sure I'm not probably going to build any more new parts other than what I've talked about in previous episodes of um, this series, we're just going to try and aim to get to this. We can't build this because we don't have the telemetry center at level 2. We can't quite build this yet because we don't have the telemetry center at level 1. But obviously we are currently 6 weeks away from having the new telemetry center built. So hopefully that does work in our favor and that we can get these great parts because if we look at the pluses on these we can get a plus 60 a plus 70 obviously we can't use them this season because they are risky parts but we might stick one of them in uh, Latin in this car maybe towards the end of the season maybe for the rest, last race of the season because we will have another part that's rated higher than that and it might be worth just taking the risk because if it gets banned it doesn't matter because we have a better part than that that won't be uh, that will become the base part for the season after so it might be worth putting it in Latinan's car. It probably won't be worth putting it in Santa Ana's car just in case she gets caught and ends up getting uh, like booted down the order quite a bit. I don't want that to happen to her. But other than that, we haven't got much to do now. Uh, no sponsors to come through. So we're just going to go ahead now and uh, skip ahead to practice. We won't come back if there's any uh, weird dilemmas that come 
come up or anything like that but other than that we'll probably just be straight ahead to practice now and we'll pick up from there right we're at the setup now for the Dubai Grand Prix um, I always seem to have this dilemma every time we go through this should I accept the 200,000 it's not a lot of money it's 100,000 for qualifying 100,000 for the race or should we just go ahead and do this because we only need to finish in the inside the top four once for this sort to pay for itself for two races we're never going to get that high in qualifying so we're never going to get the 800,000 so it would be 400,000 at most or would it is it beneficial to go for this one and hope that we always come 13th or above which one's going to work out the best I do think it's this one because we do have a chance of qualifying and getting the race standing at 13th or above we've got no chance of getting them both far above and it's always a long shot during the race as well to get far far above even though we've managed it a few times this season as a lot of the cars are starting to catch up now with their reliability it's going to be more and more of a long shot to get that place in so we're going to go ahead and click 13th part fitting everyone's happy now Santa Ana's happy with the car setup and so is Santa Ana they both don't like the overall quality of the car although Santa Ana is a lot better with it than Latin uh, happier with it than Latinan even though Santa Ana is a better driver um, yeah so we're getting there so we're gonna come out go ahead now and uh, come back with the setups for practice and see how we can go ahead and do it in Dubai here right so looking at this track for Dubai it's sort of in the middle and we've got a lot of straights, we've got a lot of medium corners, we've got a few tight corners, we've got some high speed corners. So I think it's just basically going to be a good mix of keeping everything sort of down above this line and behind this line. This is a sort of setup we're going to go with first. I'm probably going to set Latin in a little bit higher than this for downforce but leave everything else pretty much the same. We're going to run on these soft tyres. I don't think there's any rain due over the weekend here. So it should be dry all weekend. Although I said that for the Japanese Grand Prix when it gave us pretty good, um, a pretty good weather forecast. And it did end up raining. But we're going to run on the soft. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Probably set Latin in a little bit the same. Like I said, we're probably going to go a little bit higher. Probably put her up to the sixes, six and a half. Uh, maybe we'll run just a gear ratio and suspension a little bit harder and a little bit longer just to see how they go but I'll go out and do a few laps maybe set a time and see how we go on and then report back on what sort of setup we did end up with here so we'll come back when that's completed and see how we've done and take it from there so practice is finished we didn't get the best times there with either of the drivers um, there were quite a lot of hold ups on the track as seems to always be the case during practice and qualifying um, the interesting thing to note which is what we are like in pretty much every practice and well, you can't run a tell on qualifying but on practice we were the quickest in the first sector as we are, usually are in a lot of the races um, probably up to I think Santa Ana was about three tenths quicker and Latinum was about uh, two tenths quicker than the fastest time set during the first sector so that bodes well for a racing where everything should be even or of course the car in front does get a good chance to run away um, so we're gonna go qualifying trim super soft tires super soft and qualifying and we'll just have a look at the setup here we did manage to get everything excellent we start, I started off pretty well with Santa Ana we got uh, two excellent ratings and a great one here so it was pretty easy there we went down the wrong way of the handling to begin with but then got everything pretty even there and if we look there is quite a lot of difference between the soft and super soft some of that time could be due to the track getting more grip although we didn't get that much grip on the track by the end it was probably about halfway there so there's probably about two seconds difference maybe about one and a half seconds if you don't take into account the grip between the soft and the super soft running with uh, running in the yellows with medium engine mode and neutral on the tires but pushing with the super softs and uh, running the engine in overtake mode there's about two seconds between those two differences on the super soft and this was with a partly worn pair of super soft probably about 60 excuse me probably about 65% uh, done so probably about 35% off their entire wear but still managing to go about two seconds quicker there so it looks like for Dubai we got the uh, downforce correct straight away we messed with this a little bit just to even things up and 63 and 69 for the gear ratios and suspension 
We're going to run on the super softs for qualifying, so we'll set that up. And Santa Rana, we reverted. We didn't get it right there as good as we did with Santa Rana because we ran her slightly different. But then we matched her up with Santa Rana, got the same, pretty much the same rating, and then sort of matched everything up from there. So the downforce was the same, but she wanted it with 63 and 63 here. And no changes to the tyre pressure and tyre camber there. And we're going to run a pair of super softs here. We're probably going to get two laps in here, so we can use two fresh pairs of super softs and then we've got three super softs for the race I think we should be able to get through the whole race doing that we don't think we're going to use the soft tyre especially there wasn't that much difference there between the super softs you managed to get a good lap out on the softs but there does seem to be quite a bit of time between the super softs and the softs on this track that I'm sort of reluctant to use a soft unless I'm going to change my strategy before the race but I don't think I will do we are forced to make two stops so there is no point in using a soft tyre around here because we're not going to run, not going to need to run 10 or 12 laps. 8 or 10 laps is probably a decent amount to get through. So we're going to go ahead now and do qualifying. Hopefully we get 13th or above. Um, I am probably going to change a few things up with the uh, with the presentation of this. As you probably saw from practice, we didn't uh, concentrate on it too much. Just sort of get the initial the initial setup there and then how we how I work through that afterwards. And probably sort of the same with qualifying. Probably not going to do any of the front bit. Probably just going to uh, show the hot laps and what sort of um, stuff we got for like the first car going round. Just try to shorten up the videos a bit. I think like 30, 40 minutes is a bit long for a video to anyone to pay attention through. I've noticed that the average watch time watch times are about 15 minutes. So hopefully this with a bit more editing, a bit more thing. It, um, it probably just seems a little bit easier and runs probably a little bit more smoother. We'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and click take Wi-Fi in now and we'll come back when we're about to do a hot lap. Right, so Latin's about to start her hot lap now. We've got Santa Rana coming around about halfway. What I've done this time is try and concentrate on getting a bit more clear air rather than concentrating on this although it sort of worked out this time and we got and ended up with perfect for tyre temperature and ended up with perfect for brake temperature so what I did was more watch the track and see what was around us so I tried to get a little bit of a gap here behind Larson hopefully we can get a good clean lap in because we seem to be getting held up a lot on a lot of the tracks and it doesn't sort of matter what we've been getting for the brake temps and the tyre temperature obviously those within the optimum range would lead to a better lap but because there's so much traffic on the tracks, there's 20 cars usually all out at the same time. It does say here clear, opti clear air optimization. So maybe it's a bit. Yeah, it's probably a bit better to get clear air rather than the perfect tyre brake temperatures and tyre temperatures. Probably better to sacrifice those. So here we stand around and we're going to try and let this car get past now. And hopefully we, we'll let all these cars get past. See if they can get past on the straight. Come on, go past just so we can get a nice little bit of a gap here so we'll try come in behind this one a little bit we'll try stay ahead of this one now see so there we've actually gone overheated and cold but we've got a nice little gap here so hopefully we can get a clear lap in without catching up to anyone see what sort of time here we've actually got a 121 there which is a really good time it's about two seconds better than we did in practice so that just shows what being in clear air can do this is sort of the times that you get if you get held up here. This is probably what we would have ended up with. So this is sort of going to be the strategy going forward, I think, rather than concentrating on the temperatures. Obviously, Santa Rana has managed to catch this uh, car up here. She's been held up quite a bit, so we probably didn't do the best job with her. And look, there's two holding her up there. They must have just finished the lap. So we're quite far behind. So this is this is the sort of thing that happens if you get held up. 14th, not the worst there. Yeah, that's just the sort of thing that happens. So we're going to have to get Latinum back out here. So I'll send Latinum around and we'll come back when it's just about time for her flying lap. Hopefully we can get some more clear air. So Latinum's about to come round. Well, though we did quite a good job there, but it looks like a couple of cars are going to come out of the pit. So I don't think she's going to be able to improve here on her time. She's going to get held up by a lot of these cars that are coming out of the pits. And probably catch them up around here on these tight corners and get held up. So we've got Latinum uh, Santa Rana coming around. We're going to try to drop behind this car in front a little bit. Try stay ahead of this one that's coming up behind us. So hopefully we can work a little bit on these temperatures here. We got some nice clear track. Hopefully, what can we get here? Overheated the brakes a bit just just because we wanted to stay ahead of that car. But we've got a nice little bit of clear track here. It looks like so. Hopefully we can get a decent time out of Santa Ana this time. 
and Latin in there because she hit that traffic. That's the sort of thing that happens when you hit traffic. That's the difference. Seven seconds just from hitting a little bit of traffic. But it looks like Santa Ana now, all these cars are setting times in front of her, doing their flying laps. So it looks like we're going to get, might get a good time as well with Santa Ana this time. So this might be our best qualifying session that we've ever done here. Just from changing strategy up there, look at that third for Santa Ana. So we should have gone ahead and taken that bonus, shouldn't we? That would have been 400,000 straight in the bank there. Instead, we get the 100,000 instead. Not that we ever have to worry about money with Predator, but any money, any extra money is uh, better than no money at all. So that just sees, just shows what the, um, shows what changes, just changing the strategy up a bit and aiming for clear air and not for the brake temperature and the tyre temperature like I have been doing. Usually I fail at doing that anyway. Um, yeah, usually I fail at that anyway. So doing that and going for the clear air works a lot better. And everyone's just going to crawl around now towards the finish line. So we've got third and seventh there. So we'll go. Uh, yeah, we'll, just, we'll stick with this until we go ahead and set the car up for the next race. So Cruz there in first place. I'm not sure what car that is. Is, that, is he in the boa? Is that the boa that's orange? I'm not quite sure. I can never remember the team colours of the other cars here. So we did well there overall. Only, we weren't too far behind there, Look, we nearly got second as well. Latin and doing excellent as well in her car. Time for the race now, so hopefully we can stick to her around these positions. I'm not counting on that too much, but it does look like we have pretty much, uh, we have good performance around here. So we're aiming for 13th or above still, just to get that. Hopefully we can get points around here. We're going to go for the nurse stat in Santa Ana's car. Um, yeah, we're going to be running on Super Sauce for the majority of this race, I think. So we'll go with that and we'll take the risk taker for uh, Latina, which means she can uh, do the faster pit stops without any additional risk. So we can carry eight laps of fuel in the tank for this. Um, it would possibly be able to stretch it out using the low engine mode to one stop, but that's definitely not what we're going to do. So we do have the option of trying to run quite a bit longer. So we're probably going to aim to come in about lap six. So we're, we're going to go with the full fuel tank so we can go ahead and push. We've got the soft. Uh, she can go quite long on these super soft. So should we aim to bring her in a lap round lap eight, and then have two really, two really um, short sessions on the last two pair of super soft so we can go ahead and push late on in the race when a lot of the other cars seem to have problems maybe that's an option to do we'll think about it as we get started she can't go quite as long on the super sauce probably about a lap left so we're going to look to bring latin in first so we'll probably go ahead and do that so maybe we need to push to get them up to temperature so we'll just put the engine in high mode on santa rana so she don't waste as much fuel so we can still have a go quite a bit longer and hopefully she can hang on to the places here but Obviously we are going ahead just for our strategy. I'm not bothered about where we end up around here as long as we don't drop too far down the order here. Santa Ana had a really good start there getting up into second and Latin and as well and getting away quite well. The tyres are pretty cold around here although the tap temperature is should get really hot as the uh, temperature is really hot here so maybe we're going to have some problems with tyre wear. We might have to think about and look at that Latin has got around into third there. It's not really amazing, but she's losing those places down, back down into fifth. But Santa Rana holding on to second place here pretty well. We might need to push these tyres a little bit just to get them up to temperature. They're taking a little bit long to get up to temperature. And we're starting to drop behind Cruz there in first place. So we're getting them about right. So back down to push. We can probably turn Latinan's tyres down. So should we now think about turning the engine mode down? Should we? No, we'll maybe leave it for this lap. Latin is still holding it at fifth, and Santa Rana doing a good job at defending second place there, but just about lost it, and looks like we're going to lose it and probably lose fourth down this, third down this straight, but no, we haven't. Santa Rana challenging there on the inside, but ends up losing third place. So we're down in the fourth and fifth now, so we'll probably go ahead and run our strategy now of going as far as we can. We'll probably have Latin and push here, should we have Santa Rana let Latin and through? What's the difference in laps here? What are the difference? No, we need to have Latin and push a little bit more. Santa Ana's just going to hold Latin and up. I don't want her to order 
Just let her get through naturally. Don't fight her and crash into her. That's it. So we need about, about a lap difference between fuels here. Which is what we've got. These are getting pretty hot so we'll turn them down about now. And look, they're still heating up in uh, neutral, of uh, these tyres. We've got about the difference that we want to maybe we'll put her into high mode for a little bit. Santa Rana starting to drop down the field as we're not pushing as much with her. Hopefully she'll pick those places back up as we uh, use our pit stop, uh, our pit stop strategy that we usually use. I don't know whether it works as well from the front of the grid. I'm not... I think it did work in the European series, but then again, that's a whole different animal where the best cars start from the back. I know this strategy works from the back of the grid, so I hope it only works better being further forward. Look, a lot of cars are coming in to make their pit stops now. Whereas we've got three laps here, so we'll go ahead and have Latin and just push. The tyres are pretty hot, so we're not going to push those, and then we'll just let Santa Rana trundle along here. So we're going to stay out here. Some nice clear air. Can probably go ahead and conserve these tyres of Santa Rana, so hopefully we can use all that fuel up. Maybe have a use a bit extra fuel up here, just in case. So, let's just see how we filter back out after these pit stops. We've got probably about one more lap left with Latin and the tyres are really hot here, but we'll just have them attack. I know it's probably not going to be the best thing to do since they're so hot. Yeah, she's churning through them, but she's coming into the pits this time. She's now up into first place here. And we should be able to just run as we are doing like this and just keep going. See where we filter out here, just see what we can do pushing uh, Latinan. And then once Latinan goes in, we'll have Santa Ana push. Just try to conserve these tyres a bit so when we do go ahead and put these tyres into, um, into a tap mode, they're not so hot, so we will get a bit extra out of them. I wonder if any of these are going to try and match us. Cruz there is nine seconds behind, so we're not going to. I'm just going to have to see where we filter out, but Cruz was so far ahead that it's not going to matter too much. Pretty well timed with the fuel on the tyres there. Let's see what sort of time she can get here. So. Can we get two laps out of Santa Ana here with this fuel? What's she going to be like when she comes around? So we're probably going to have to turn her down if we want her to do that. She's going to have 1.08 left. Maybe we can push like that and get two laps of clear air here. We don't have the engine mode to push. Or should we push? Because then we'll have about 10 laps left and then 5 laps on each tyre. Yeah, let's just go for it and pit this lap, eh? I think that's what we should do. Give her the chance to push this car to its limits. We'll go for the fast one again. Latin is back out in fourth there, so pretty well done. We're staying where we are in the order. Let's just see. Cruzzy's getting on her tail here. Is he catching up? No, we're actually pulling away here. No, and catching back up on the straight, it looks like. So Santa Ana's about to come in here. And refueling all the way to the top decent pit stop and just back out into you yeah, know back out into six but battling away they're down into seven so it didn't work out as well for Santa Ana there maybe we could have gone ahead and pushed for those extra two laps but I think they would have caught up so we're gonna just go ahead and push these tires now and we're gonna have to think about conserving these a little bit probably turn Latin and down a little bit we're running pretty well here. We're managing to keep hold of these. Uh, managing to keep quite high up the order here. A lot of these cars around are obvi obviously a lot better than us, so it's quite surprising that we're able to hold on like this. Um, I'm running high mode here. Neutral, I think. The Santa Ana. Probably try push. We've got. Everyone else is going to be making another stop, and we've got another stop to make. So we do have a lot of fuel and tyres to play with here. So we're running third with Latin, and what's she managing to do here? She's managing again on second place. Yes, she's managing again on second place here. We are running on a pretty warm pair of soft tyres here. 
So maybe we're going to be able to get past these. So should we push? We won't push until we actually get behind them. Just going to run and see what we can get here. And Santa Ana's tyres are getting pretty hot, so we'll just conserve them. I don't think there's much uh, difference in lap times, just as long as you get this right to what the temperature is here, I think it works out pretty well. If you go too cold, then obviously even though you're pushing in the cold, you're going to lose a lot of time. And if they're too hot, and even though you try to conserve when they're too hot, or you push them when they're too hot, you're still going to lose time with that. So it's better just to keep these in the temperature that they need to be. Although it's pretty hard around here because it's 34 degrees, so even running in conserve mode, they're not losing much temperature. So Cruz has made his second pit stop there somewhere along the line, hasn't he? Yeah, Cruz has already made his second pit stop, so he's going to be on some pretty worn tyres by the end of the race. And maybe running out of fuel because he's cause out of the pits there and attacking as well with only a fuel tank that takes eight laps of fuel and he has eight laps to go so he's, he's, he's going to end up running out of fuel by the end of the race so the computer's not doing a good job of managing too well there but latin and running in second here santa rana just biding her time in seventh here waiting for everyone else to make their pit stop so she can go ahead and just slam her foot down and fly round and uh, Latin now running in first place so should we go ahead and have a push now that we have this first place obviously if we can get another two laps out of this would be great I don't think any of the parts are the engine because we running maybe we can't run the engine so high I'll try and go as far as we can so Santa Ana is not too far behind here we're getting on the car in front should we go ahead and have Santa Ana push? No, we'll just do it. So Latin and slowing down a bit here, is she? She lost a couple of these cars. Who's in front of her? It's like Cruz is flying around the track here, isn't he? Just don't. This engine's falling away pretty quickly here, so maybe we're just going to have to run her in medium now. And maybe have Santa Ana push instead. So we don't have any worries about her engine, so we should we order Latin to let Santa Ana through? We'll see if she can let her through here somewhere. Once she's passed, we'll put her back into race mode. Hopefully Santa Ana can go ahead and do the job now of getting a podium. It does look like it's pretty likely here. Have we got enough gap over the other cars? I'm not quite sure. So I think we're going to go ahead and pit Latin in this time. I know she's got quite a bit of life in these tyres and a bit more fuel. But I don't want them pitting on the same lap. What to do, what to do. Should we just have a push for the rest of this lap and then we can turn her down. And hopefully that's enough for the engine so we'll just have a push like that. Get rid of some of this fuel that she's got, this little bit of excess that she's got. And what do we need for the end of the race here? We'll put that back into medium just in case it makes a difference in the computer telling us what we need. We'll go for what we need, just what we need, because we're not going to run the engine in high mode here. Change the tyres, we're going on more super softs. So hopefully that's alright now. And we're just going to have Latin and Push here in second place. We've got no chance of catching Cruz. Cruz is so far ahead here, having already made, it, made the two pit stops, but. There is that risk, he's still pushing the car there on these soft tyres. Is he looking to go to the end of the race or is he going to make three stops here? And if he do not make three stops, he should run out of fuel before the end. So hopefully we can just keep holding this. We need to turn these down now. We're just, just going to get Latin and concentrate on getting her around now. We should have just enough in the engine to go for it. Just keep things going as they are. And Santa Ana is going to have to make her pit stop this lap. I don't think we've got enough gap here to stay out in second. And we're losing time, even whilst we're pushing, so it's time to come in. We need a little bit of extra so we can go ahead and push here with Santa Ana. So let's just see where we filter out here. Maybe we could have stayed out, but we just... 
we ran it on medium mode, but let's just see where we get out here. Hopefully, just ahead here, so we've managed to keep third place there. Absolutely brilliant. Should we turn down here and save some of this fuel? Well, we'll push the tyres just to get them up to speed. Latinen still running in about seventh place here. She does have a little bit of excess fuel. But the engines are borderline here. It should just have enough to get through to the end of the race if we don't push it. And it looks like we're gaining on the car in front here. Obviously, we do have some extra fuel. And we gain in. We seem to gain around the slower sections of the track, which shouldn't be a thing here because and Cruz has made that second pit stop there. But obviously, had enough time to keep it. So can we get... I don't think we're going to get first here. There's no chance of catching Cruz. How much laps have we got to go? So we've got this one... Up 16, 17 and 18. So we've got four laps left. Have we got enough to push now to the end of the race? Is that something we can do? Have we got fuel? Gaining time on Cruz as he's stuck behind our below here. Looks like... Could we make a push for first place here? It's just about getting Latin in to hang on here. We've got enough to get round everything here. So whether any of these cars sort to drop away before the end of the race a lot of them are running in low engine mode so it looks like they don't have the fuel to get to the end of the race maybe a lot of them are going to start running out of fuel again but cruiser's got past our below now it looks like we're going to get held up here hopefully we can get past them quickly on this straight coming up There's a couple of corners here that we're going to get slowed down through hopefully we've got enough to blast past them on this straight no he makes a move at the last second there blocks Santa Ana off and we're too far behind on this straight to get past this time. We've got two laps remaining. We've got plenty of fuel here. The tyres are running way too hot, so we're going to have to turn them down a little bit. And look, these tyres in Santa Ana's car are running way, way too hot in neutral as well. We'll just turn her down a bit. Hopefully she can hold on to around this place. And we're just in this battle now with our below, whose tyres are going to drop away at some point. It's on a pair of softs, which are 36% done. He's running in a low engine mode. But he's doing a good job of defending from Santa Ana here. So it looks like we've got another podium in the bag here. And look at that. He's dropped away there right at the last second. Is he, have his tyres gone? Or has his fuel gone? Well, the cars are starting to run out of fuel here. I don't think Cruz has got that problem. Yeah, Cruz is pulling away from us here. Latin's running in seventh. Is there a chance that she can get up into the points here? Getting past some of these slower cars. So we get past our below there. Santa Ana's coming round to finish in second place here. She's got a back marker to get past just as we come across the line. No, she ain't quite. And look at that. Latin has jumped up into the points there. Up into fifth. So has she got enough to hold on to that there as we come around these last few corners? And Santa Ana's going across the line here. Second place for Santa Ana. Absolutely brilliant. Another podium for Santa Ana. And it looks like we could get fourth here. So what an absolutely brilliant result here. Second and fourth overall. Both cars doing absolutely brilliant. Both drivers, Santa Ana and Latinen, absolutely brilliant. Should be enough to push us and keep us where we are at in the table for the foreseeable future. So seven races in now. Um, that is six. That is just nine points that we get for those two places. I don't think we set a fastest lap at any time. Obviously, Cruz running away from the start. Cruz will have got the fastest lap, I would guess. And yeah, he's in the boa. I'm not quite sure what's rated the actual best car here. But he did actually have to make three stops because he was pushing quite a long time. But even though he did three stops, it was still enough for Cruz to win. Absolutely brilliant race there. Well managed. Started high up. And that strategy as well. And now no works from the front of the grid in this series. So we can afford to try and conserve fuel. And look at that. Cruz did get pole position bonus and the fastest lap bonus. So he finishes on 12 points. We picked up a nice nine points there. We've got another trophy here for second place. Absolutely brilliant. Santa Ana now in fourth place. Cruz has moved up quite a lot there, getting 12 points. So Santa Ana's actually dropped down the order. Um, but it's probably good enough to keep her around the top five for quite a while. And Latinen here now up into eighth place. So we've got both drivers in the top ten in the driver's standing. And we are now in fourth. We're not far off second place. And look at that, there is a long way now to fifth place so hopefully fourth place is ours now and sewn up 
because it is hard for a lot of these teams to win decent points and even if they do manage to win a race that's only eight points i don't think many of them will be able to get mo both of their cars in the top five obviously we can somehow we're doing absolutely brilliant still we're still managing to keep this uh challenge going here we're doing quite well and Santa Ana is making some, a little bit of progress still but uh, Latinen she must be like hitting her peak age here she's managing to get a bit more of a boost now as we go along both of them are 100% with the mechanic we came second overall there and obviously we didn't pick that 800,000 at the beginning of the race which obviously meant that we were going to finish in the uh, <laughs> that we were going to finish in the top four obviously if we would have picked that 800,000 we probably wouldn't have finished top four so it's not always worth the risk, but we've got 1.3 going into the bank now. That's enough for us to probably be on the... Uh, uh, how many gearboxes do I need to build? Probably two more before the end of the season, isn't it? Hopefully we can build one with a great part, and then the next one after that we can build it with two great parts in it. And get that boost that we want. Um, De Graff finished, Crust Pits part, Larson to pull. The car condition... Both doing excellent there. Total time at fixed 15 hours, so it'll be ready tomorrow. Um, we've got three weeks on the telemetry centre left. No sponsors run out that time. So standings were fourth, fourth and eighth there. Next time we're in Rio de Janeiro, a track that I've been looking forward to. It's pretty much like the real Brazilian Grand Prix, it looks like, because we've got this nice long straight up here and dropping down. Obviously, we don't have that little bit like in the real one. I'm not sure which oh yeah we do don't we it does pretty much yeah it mimics uh, it's pretty well mimicked there it's pretty much the same as the actual one oh, we're going the wrong way then we're going that way aren't we so yeah it pretty much mimics the uh, real Brazilian Grand Prix so I'm actually looking forward to this track because it is one of my favourite real life tracks so hopefully we can do quite well there fuel burn very high and medium so that might not work in our favour too much because I like tracks where we can do quite well with the fuel. I did have very high tyre wear and we did manage to run our normal strategy so hopefully medium tyre wear that's going to be what works in our favour here. The fuel burn shouldn't matter too much because everyone does have the same fuel so we can still probably make our strategy work for us and go longer than everyone else. But other than that that's pretty much it for this edition. Another brilliant result there in Dubai. Second and fourth We'll just have a look and see how many podiums she's got this year. So he's done seven races, three podiums, obviously one of which was a win. So that is really good there. What has the best driver got this season? Seven, six, and one. Obviously, no chance of getting that. Munro, seven, four, and three. It's a lot of wins. Yes, yeah, so she's actually managed to. Uh, he's actually managing to match Cruz pretty well here. Who we obviously pulled it all out in that last race. And I think he's probably around a four star rated driver now. Can't remember what he starts the game as. But he's probably about a four star rated driver there. So it's amazing for Santa Rana to be able to keep up with him. But anyway, we're going to leave that there. We're going to be back next time for the Brazilian Grand Prix in Rio de Janeiro. Um, and if you're not already a subscriber at the moment, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below to be notified when we get more updates so hopefully we can keep pushing this season and give me a thumbs up if you think we're doing better than expected and leave a comment down below if you are so inclined to do so i do try and reply to every comment so go ahead and leave one if you want to but until next time i'll see you down the road in brazil and goodbye